So here we have the first part of the process, which is to uh, knead the clay to remove air and to smooth out any um, lack of consistency in the clay. Otherwise, it won't centre properly on the wheel when you throw it <coughs> on the wheel. You have to cut off a piece of clay. Each part is made to a specific weight to make sure that the sizes are as, uh, as near as possible the same. So here we are throwing a mug on the wheel. There's plenty of water to lubricate clay against your fingers. It's a pointer to make sure the pot is a approximately the correct size. Now here we are cutting the pot off the wooden bat. And here we are turning the base to make sure it's nice and even and any surplus clay is removed from the base with a metal tool. And here we are doing the same thing with the, uh, an oven dish. It's going to be an oven dish. And applying the potter's mark. So here we are now drying the parts outside in the sun. They dry much quicker in the sun, of course. We have to turn them over to stop them warping. And here we're loading the biscuit kiln, which is the first firing. There are two firings. This is the electric kiln. And now we're decorating pots with some brushwork using metal oxides. and manganese for these leaves and stalks. And now we're dipping in, mixing up the glaze materials, which is the suspension of glaze materials, pouring it inside the pot, coated inside. And we're coating the outside, with, in this case a different glaze. up any spots that didn't get glaze on, finger marks, and loading the kilns loaded and here's the firing. Um.